Hello, welcome to our news section. Labor market information by province and territories. In this section, we will explore every province in Canada and the important information about the labor market, which include the main industries, main cities, and the main online resources they have available for foreign workers. So you can check in your plans and journey to migrate to Canada. So let's take a look at the first province and please make notes during the lecture. British Columbia Facts about BC British Columbia, or as it's called BC in Canada, is one of the most appealing places to settle within Canada. In addition to its abundance of natural beauty, there are many reasons that make BC a very desirable destination to work study and live in Canada. We need to mention that this is probably one of the most beautiful places uh, on the planet. Why BC? Well, for a start, the high standards of living in BC are very appealing. Excellent health care, wages and benefits, a diverse culture, a range of workplaces and industries and safety in BC. These are one of the main reasons that you want to consider BC as your destination if you want to work in Canada. Now let's discuss a little bit about the BC job market. BC is home to a large range of different opportunities and industries including agriculture, construction, forestry, health, and manufacturing. It's a port to Asia, and most of the products in Canada are being exported through the West Coast. So, it's interesting to see the future of British Columbia. It will get even bigger with the rise of the economies in Asia. So, if you live in Asia and want to move to a place when you keep contact with your home country, well, British Columbia is one of the best places to do it. BC major industries agriculture, natural resources like fishing, mining, forest products, tourism, with more than 20 million visitors a year. Again, because it's a very beautiful place, a lot of people like to visit BC. Firm and TV production center after New York and Los Angeles, probably the third center of to production in Vancouver and British Columbia. You have a lot of film industries and production center in BC because of the nice location and ideal places for filming movies. Technology, the financial sector, healthcare, which includes jobs for doctors, nurses, lab technicians, etc., which is going to be in high demand in the coming years as the population in Canada overall increases and also those people that are turning into baby boomers that will be looking for warmer places. BC has a record of having one of the warmest climates in Canada. Transportation and warehousing, manufacturing, and wholesale and retail trades. So those are the major industries in BC. If you have work experience in any of those industries, then you know that BC might be a destination to take a look at when it comes to opportunity. The major cities in BC, you can see the chart here, leading by Vancouver, with over half a million people based on the last census. So Ray, Burnaby, Richmond, Langley, as well. So there are cities, you see the size of the cities. And uh, it's important the cities are co in consideration with the land. There's not many people, which means you have some opportunities when it comes to those cities. Remember to focus on smaller cities uh, uh, than bigger cities because then you have more opportunity when it comes to landing a job or getting an employer. And now we're going to take a look at the recommended online resources for BC. 
So, one of the main online resources that we suggest for BC is the website WorkBC. In this website, you can see that they have job and careers. And if you just move to this tab, you can see that find jobs, work in British Columbia, explore careers, career toolkit, find your field tour, success stories. So you have a lot of resources available in this website. Also, you have employment services for people already in Canada and information about labor market, uh, work BC centers that can help you, community partner and employers partnerships. You also have a tab for training and education. If you're interested in more information about post-secondary studies, trade training, cooperative education or trade success stories, and finance, financing your education, and of course, the labor market and industry with B more information in depth about BC economy, the outlook of BC labor market, the high demand occupations, a skill for future workforce, etc. And then you keep on going. It's a lot of good resources. Also, if the employer uh, have some needs, they can have also opportunity for employers to post a job for free in the World BC. Um, information f uh, regarding employers that they might use in order to hire people in, in BC. And they have more resources available for workers of every type of disability, women, uh, mature workers, counselor, teachers, etc. So, very good website to take a look at. In the same website, we can go to Welcome BC. Um, it's a good uh, choice with a good uh, tool called Cost of Living Calculator. You can check in the province the cost of living by using this tool that is a calculator and basically you just choose the region let's say Bakumbarala of course it's gonna be then you have the cities let's say let's go for Victoria your occupation let's say you are an engineer or engineer manager here then you tell you more or less what is the average salary for that occupation and then you can just basically add expenses here then if you use this tool the house, the size of the house, let's say you're gonna have a small house you're gonna rent it you're gonna have one car you're gonna travel just 14 kilometers and then Again, you start building the tool, and it's gonna give you, I'll give you a calculation. One, two others, two kids. So now, let's calculate that you have the wife earn around $55,000 a year. Then you have more information here. You have any loans, you have some saving, investment, etc. Let's imagine we don't have any of that. We just calculate here. And here then you have the tool telling you that in housing transportation we'll be spending three thousand three hundred, that's on a monthly basis, living expenses, the average in the in the province, the basic tax you will be paying this and taxes, three thousand three hundred and twenty. So your income will be thirteen thousand four hundred and four um, and four and your and your expenses based on this calculation you can estimate gonna be eleven thousand or sixty nine. So you're gonna have remaining two thousand three hundred and thirty five based on this. So it gives you a better idea and then you go with regions. The employment outlook of the region that you selected in different years in two thousand eighteen. The projection for two thousand twenty three and the projection for two thousand twenty eight. So, very interesting tool that you can use, and you have more resources right here. So, I highly suggest you take a look at this tool. Another tool that I'd like to show you also is the Work Busy Career Track. And basically, you have all the careers and occupations based on the cities, and you can check uh, videos about every occupation in Canada. They have episodes here. It's part of the work you see. So you have every single occupation. They tell you everything about the career, the demand, the challenges. So you have a very idea of your occupation, how you do in Canada. So highly suggest that you take a look at this link. It's included in the lecture. And you take advantage of this information. 
Then you have also another website you can use. It's called bcjobs.ca. Basically, you just put the, the keyword for your job title and it will search job in that area. And also, you, ha you can upload your resume. So, very important to use. And of course, you have another website called Diverse City where you can have information for immigrants. And they have like events and um, services that you can check for English language testing if you are already in the area. They have employment support, skilled training center, they have program for refugee families, program for newcomers, so they have all the information, counseling services. So interesting to see and the link is included as well. And finally, we have the BC Top Employers. You can take a look at this website. It has the best employers in BC. It's part of the 100 best employers brand. And if we go down, then you have the list of all the employers in BC based on the list in your alphabetical order. You can check. Um, if you do your research of the industry, you can find the ones for your industry. Take a look, go to the website, visit them, and start doing some working with the best employers in BC. These are the winners for 2019. So I hope you enjoyed this lecture, and thank you very much.